Switched on. Okay, I'm going to show you how I manage two rods. So see if I kick that rod over to the side, it spins that boat around, and this line on the other rod doesn't tangle. So makes it nice. I think this is on the uh, kokanee colored two inch lineman if I remember right. Eh, just a little guy, but I'll take him. Yeah. Nice little rainbow there. That was five minutes in. Not bad. Phew. Off he goes. All right. Okay. We'll keep trolling around. So, to manage two rods in a paddle kayak, not a pedal kayak, um, I have a few things that I do. So first, is I typically use floating lures, so that when I catch a fish on one rod, the other lure just floats up to the surface. So that's something like these Lyman plugs are great for, because you know they just float up to the surface, where if I was using a spoon or something like that, they'd sink to the bottom and every time I caught a fish I would have to you know worry about snagging on the bottom or reel it in so and then the other piece that I'll show here in just a little bit is how I manage the rod when I actually hook a fish and that is the positioning so if I take and catch a fish on my right side and I start reeling it's going to pull my boat around then what it's going to do is it's going to bring this line around and potentially it's going to tangle it. Now, I avoid those tangles by taking the rod that has a fish and I pick it up and I either hold it directly up, which I can kind of control and keep my nose forward, or I come around on this side and I let it swing around and then that line is just out there dangling and I can reel that fish in and catch it without getting any kind of tangle. Now, the other piece to note is that if it's windy, which today there's a little bit of a breeze, you have to kind of adjust for that wind as well, and that the wind can actually push you, if you're going into the wind, back into your line and tangle. It can uh, tangle it in my fish finder transducer. So you just have to be kind of careful. And if it's really windy, um, I'll often go down to a single pole, or at least when I'm going into the wind. If you're going with the wind, the wind keeps pushing you, keeps that line tight, and you can just use the rod and the pressure of that fish to adjust which way your boat is turning and avoid tangles. So, those are just some really handy tricks if you don't have a pedal kayak to still be able to utilize two rods. Then the other piece that I find to be very helpful is I use uh, casting reels. And so instead of like a spinning reel and the reason for that is you can adjust the tension so that as you paddle it's just slowly letting line out and that's another thing if you're wanting to fish sinking lures and just one pole it's kind of essential that you have that function uh, so that it's not just you know letting line out rapidly and causing tangles like if you're using a dodger and and like a hoochie or spinner or something for kokanee you know if you especially have a clip weight and that's sinking really quickly, well, it's, you know, very common to have those come together and get tangled. So, you know, it's it's really nice to have these casting reels and then also these that I have, I use for kokanee on the boat. And they have the line counter, which is handy because, you know, I can look at how much line I have out and know how far back those lures are, which right now they're both about 100 feet back. And when I caught that first fish, five minutes in, that's where we were at. So I'll keep doing that. And that's really helpful with diving lures or when you're using clip weights that you have that knowledge and can use it to have an understanding of also where your depth is. So those are just a few tips that can be very helpful um, when you're trying to, you know, 
catch some fish in a paddle or in a in a paddle kayak. I keep wanting to say pedal, and yeah, not get tangles and not have problems. So hopefully that helps. All right. On. Feels a little better than the last one. And that's on the two incher again. So I think we'll or the two-inch coping, I think we'll switch the other rod. Oh, that's a good fish. Ooh. Better. Stand it in my other line. Feels real nice. Fish number three, this is on that same one. The wind is gonna blow us in, which is part of the gig. Um, with but what we can do. Worthy? <laughs> Let's hope. Probably net worthy, but oh, that's a nice one. Got a bunch of coke pods on him. Or her, but man, Ooh. come on, stop that. All right, so on that same plug, and that is a fruit. That thing hit and was a rip and drag. Number three, getting bigger every time. So, we'll get her back in the water. Same plug, so I'm actually running a dodger on this one, which is going to sink. Oh, 
little goose in it. So this is actually on a Dodger and a Hoochie. It's the, I've been running different things and uh, it's the first one that's actually not on a Wyman. Um, it's a little precarious to fish these in a paddle kayak. Uh, I don't think it's as nice as the ones I've been catching on the Wyman, but we'll see. Yeah, it's a dink. Yeah. Mega dink. But it's a fish. So we've caught, my battery went dead, and I caught number four on that same two inch lineman. That little guy is number five. Adios. Um, yeah. We'll keep fishing away. If I catch another little tiny dink on this dodger, I'll probably pull it back off and put a another lineman on because I'm really not interested in catching those little guys. So the last one that I didn't get on camera was um, probably about like the second fish I caught. Maybe a couple pounds or something. A uh, pound and a half. And then that biggest one, I should have weighed it. I actually have a scale with me. Um, that was a that was a nice fish. That was I'd say uh, probably at least three pounds. So if I catch another big one, I will. I will. Another one on the plug. Feels a little bigger. I'm not terribly surprised. A little bigger than the uh, Dodger and Hirchi that is. This will be number six landed. I think I've missed uh, two or three. That actually doesn't feel as nice as I originally thought. <laughs> So now, get him out of here. The thing that can be kind of difficult is um, I gotta try to burn this dog here and make sure it's not snagged. So we'll see. back up and catch some more. It seems like the bite, even though we've I mean, caught, caught quite a few, uh, seems like it's picking up. One thing I'm going to do, occasionally I do, just take, I'll take a little gulp corn, gulp maggot, piece of corn, something like that. And thread it on that guy. 
and I catch a ton of fish without it. But sometimes when you know the bite's been slow, which it dropped off a little on, um, it seemed to pick up a little bit. But most of the time, I do run them bare. Um, but okay, we're ready to roll. So this is where I was talking about. Um, having the line counter reel or the at least doesn't have to be a line counter but at least that casting reel because you can adjust the tension and especially with that dodger if I was to try to let that out with a casting rod or I mean a spinning rod geez, you can't paddle and talk at the same time it just sink right to the bottom I'm only in 16 feet of water so this I just keep it really pretty high tension when I'm letting that out and it's just going to let it out nice and slow and keep tension enough on it that it keeps it up in the water column and when I get it far enough back I just close it and we're good to go. Alright let's hope that's like two tick fish in under 10 minutes. Let's see if we can get another one. It's getting a little bit windy again but hopefully you can catch them. Sorry that I'm going to do something different with the camera. Hopefully makes it a little more stable in the future, but for now, this is kind of all I got. So. Number eight, maybe. Doesn't feel real good again, but. That's number eight. Saw that one. Oh, don't. Oh, no, he's still there. I saw him hit it, and I think he came back, or else he hit it and came right at the boat. We'll see if he's a little better. Feels a little better, but. is still by far the winner tonight. That's a little bigger than the other one, but much smaller than my hogs. Okay, I believe that's number nine. Let's see if we can't hammer out ten. I think we can because we at least got a paddle back. All right, now the only thing with the uh, Dodger 
like I said, if you don't do a floating, you hope you don't snag, and you reel it in. Don't think it's as big as that um, biggest one on the Lyman. Not even close. But it'll be the biggest one on the Dodger. Yeah, not even close to the biggest one on the Dodger. Woo! Or I mean the biggest one on the Lyman. But Still a real nice fish. Okay. Pretty nice. <laughs>